Hey there Pisces, I am connecting in with you today to do a reading on Venus in Pisces to see what is happening for you loves. I thought it'd be a cool check in. I know naturally it's, you know, everyone thinks of Venus as yes, love. We hear that men are from Mars, women are from Venus, um, and we definitely bring different energy. So Venus is a lot about feminine and beauty and importantly, magnetic energy. So being in Pisces, um, it's in Pisces until around the 20th of February, I believe. But what we're going to find, yes, there's a lot of um, beauty and warmth that's coming into relationships. You might see a lot of things repairing. Be mindful though, as you connect with new people, that there's not that you know, dreamy fleeting fantasy that comes on in and sweeps you away because some things just may not last, especially in that nature. But this is a great time, you know, as well, not realizing the magnetic aspect of it. Um, that's that too, a lot can happen with attracting in new relationships, financial gain. There's a lot of things that we can attract in this energy. But remembering that Pisces is all about heart and, you know, spiritual expansion. And I find too, you know, kind of breathtaking. I want you to think of, you know, Pisces, all the, all the amazing fairy tales that sometimes that we can, we can live in and, and bring into our lives for moments. And, you know, Pisces energy at play, you know, playing can be a little fleeting at times. So we just need to make sure that we are, you know, staying grounded because as I think there's Mars coming on in, let me check. Mars is coming on in to connection with Venus on February 4th. So this will like reveal a little bit that may be harsh to some truths that are happening at the same time. You know, this is a time to realize your dreams, um, and just, you know, be genuine and kind hearted. You might find energy to really make people feel amazing and alive and seen and just doorways are going to open. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff happening. Like I said, magnetic energy. I think of Venus and I kind of, um, in Pisces, I'm getting this kind of empress, sexy energy that's, that's happening here. Um, Probably maybe more of the queen of inspiration when I think about it. Sexy and attractive, bringing, um, bringing that in. So queen of wands energy. Um, so there's a lot of cool stuff happening, you know. Each is going to have their own journey. But I want to check on in Pisces. Let's see what, what is happening with Venus energy until the 20th of February. All right, guys, for our Pisces. So if we haven't met, I'm Jamie. This is Soulvine Guidance. We do daily reads on Pisces. Cancer, because I've had, um, I've been doing a lot on Cancer too, but we've had it, been having issues uploading and I've had an incredible week, a lot of cool things going on. So um, we'll get back into the groove with Cancerians, but I really need to see... Um, a bump up with those. Otherwise I'm going to just keep doing Pisces and maybe Libra next because I know, or Libra, um, because I know we've been getting some high ratings on those guys. Check it on in. Hey, we've got the, t the end of a tough cycle approaches. I'm sure we did a read on this, uh, the other day. So check that out. We've got, look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Aquarius, uh, sorry, full moon in, um, I just saw Arius and I said Aquarius and yeah, I was going to say, I don't know what other sign I was going to say, Sagittarius. So this is, uh, independent, playful, do your thing, take time to breathe out, disseminating moon, and then luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. What's going on guys? This is really interesting energy already starting. So we're seeing with the Venus in Pisces energy, things smoothing out. We can already see that with the retrogrades uh, having, you know, come to an end with Mars in Gemini and um, Mercury. So this is feeling a lot lighter and you probably feel that already. With look at the bigger picture with full moon in Sagittarius, this is like making your mark Pisces. Okay, like 
earlier that I shared, Venus is your magnetic energy, sexy, attractive, pulling in the things that you want and desire. There's this magical feeling that infuses where you are and what you do. I mean, obviously that's going to be how you show up, but I feel like it's going to be easier to step into that energy at this time. Then we've got take time to breathe out. Interestingly, this could be as Mars enters, um, and connects with Venus, we might see a little bit of a stir up a little bit of where we're not grounded, it's going to ground us or get us to pay attention to ground. So there just might be a little something that along the path of this dreamy experience, just got to, you know, kind of connect in and, and take pause to what are you, are you taking on too much because it's just been so beautiful. So you want more and more and more and more. And then you realize, well, this is a lot and I need to just take a moment for myself. So then moving on that luck is on your side. Neptune is hanging about too. So Venus and Neptune and Pisces all happening. Well, this is like, a super special time as we move out. I think this is in mid February that's happening. So I just think you're going to see so much movement forward, so much highlight on possibilities, on potential, but things actually happening Pisces. And I'm super excited for this super, super duper excited. So let's connect on in and just dive a bit deeper. I'm not going to connect into these cards itself. I'm just going to do a fresh, um, a fresh spread and just read the overall energies. Okay. So let's see what our lovely Pisces need to know with Venus in Pisces, Venus in Pisces. Let's see. Okay. Judgment. You know what? They're going to connect. So I'm just going to do my full spread for clarifiers. Okay. Um, I've been told that's what I need to do. So I'm going to do it. Okay. So I'm going to connect them. I don't know if you've seen my readings. I'm doing the four um, to ballot date. Wow. Or clarify, however you wish to say. Okay, guys. One more for... Thank you. Interesting. So already seeing some fun at play here. It's so, I find it like really radical how each deck, while they the same cards, they absolutely read so differently. I think that's like my little bit of, um, just a little bit of maybe, I don't want to say frustration, but things that I notice is that not every card means the same thing for every reading. Okay. Each has its own energy. Um, especially with how it's been integrated by the one, I think the person who's created the deck, but also how the reader connects into the energy of it. And sometimes I think some things are just a little cliche and, um, and I know that's my take and I'm not knocking anyone individually or anything like that. I just think that, the energy is so important. Not every card means the same thing for every single deck um, or just is traditional in every sense. Okay. So take that for how you will. I think if you get to know me that sometimes some cards can mean absolutely, totally different things, um, especially, you know, connecting into the energy of it all. But saying this one, this Knight of Swords is like, ready to claim you Pisces, whatever this is. So with the judgment, we've got the page of wands, the ace of swords and strength card. So there's, there's definitely some news that I feel is coming through or some decision that's been made. I don't know yet who is making this decision, but whatever it is, the decision that's being made is something that's very clear on what is happening. Um, the end of the tough cycle approaches must mean that there's something that's clearing out here, but in addition to something clearing out, I also feel there's some form of communication that's happening times two with this page of wands and this Knight of wands energy. I think someone's going to come on in and start with testing the waters on how to communicate on how to tell you what it is that they want and they desire with you. 
And I'm not sure if they're going to get the response that they actually want at first from you. Um, but I feel that what's happening is that you're staying strong in whatever decisions and choices that you're making and you're being brave about it. I don't know if you can hear my two cats going off. They're just very playful, these two. Um, so I apologize if you could hear them. They're just having a bit of fun. Um, and then we've got, as I said, the strength, there's some like brave steps forward that you're taking. It's like you're stepping into this new, I find with this strength card that you're moving forward in confidence, knowing that you're protected and supported here. So whatever that is for you here, Pisces, but like I said, this, I don't know if this is the same energy as such like as in the same person, but I feel like someone's testing the waters of communicating and, you know, a path and direction they may want to go with you. And then it's like, maybe they're not getting the response they're expecting and they are coming charging in to let you know, Pisces, I'm here and I'm not taking anything else for an answer. Like, I just feel like this sexy, strong force of, desiring you and wanting something here with you Pisces and I feel like this is very clear on what it is they desire what it is that they want I don't know if this is going to be a surprise to you um I mean we can we can have a look a bit further but someone's very clear on a decision uh and but I think it's not that you're absolutely not playing games here Pisces I'm not saying that for you but I think you're just like really now you want to potentially come and show up or I've been waiting this for a long time and it just, it doesn't shake you. I think you're staying poised and staying sexy and staying that in that magnetic energy of just going, okay, then really show me if this is what you want, really show me, you know, and that I feel is in some regard to a relationship. But I also think too, this is in a decision in terms of a new offer, a new opportunity that there, there is someone making it very clear that you are desired as, as a choice. And I think as part of it, there's this excitement, but you're staying very grounded in that approach. Okay. Maybe there's like two offers. I don't, I don't know here, but there's two forms of communication. I don't know if one is turning, like I said, smaller to a larger one. So maybe the first insight might be, we want to go to the next stage with you. And then as you move further forward, you have to show a different, different side of yourself with this strength card. And you, you come out again in this new force, this new courage, this new power. And then they come in full force saying, yeah, we want you. And having a look at this with the six of wands, it, there seems to be success on the other side of whatever this decision is or whatever you're doing moving forward. I'm just feeling playful energy and I'm liking this Pisces. So look at the bigger picture. We've got the six of wands, the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups. Damn, you want to talk about Venus love? Yeah. <laughs> um but I'm feeling very playful energy and the King of Cups. Damn Pisces. Oh yeah. So official YouTube doesn't classify damn as a swear word. So that's good. Um, I've had just issues uploading and I don't swear that often at all. I should say get colorful in my language. And I know the first eight seconds is what truly counts. And then they check for repetitive, you know, verbiage, but something like it uploads and then it's just sitting and processing. So they must be checking things with a fine tooth comb or mine. It could even be two certain cards are showing some form of nudity. Cause I have heard that that can, um, you know, cause a bit of ruckus, but I mean, it's tarot cards, it's art. It's not like we're doing anything, you know, crazy. Anyway, probably me saying all this is not helpful. <laughs> all those words in a row, they're probably like, what are you talking about? What are you saying? Flagging you. Anyway, clear, delete that. Thank you. Um, all right, let's move on. So six of wands, the Hierophant, the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. What are you doing, Pisces? Seriously, look at the bigger picture. There is someone that wants to make a serious commitment here with you. And I know we're doing Venus in Pisces, but I'm just saying like, it's really showing up here. Someone is committed to making something work with you, making something official, making something like set in, 
And when I say set in stone, it's just like, they want to lock this in. They want to lock you in. They want to show you the love. They want to show you that you, their worth, and they're willing to do what it takes to also show you that they've got what it takes. So someone's stepping up their game here. I don't know who's been showing you a lot of interest because someone, this is not, this person's already in your energy is what I'm feeling. Okay. Someone is already in your energy. You may not know this. Um, maybe they've been hanging about watching you. Maybe they've been right in front of you and you've never noticed, but that's why I feel that this person is just testing out how they communicate their interest, what they think, how they feel, you know, they're a little bit, I'm excited by you Pisces. And like I said, it's kind of like, Oh, and then they're coming in with a bit more of a full force. I got you girl. I got you, man, you know, whatever that is. So whatever this wind that's coming on through it, looking at the bigger picture, it's interesting because this delights you. This is on your mind. I'm just getting, this is on your mind. And for some reason, I don't even know if you know what to do with it. And I'm very surprised Pisces, very surprised. I don't know, maybe it's too full on too fast and you're a bit cautious of it. Um, but it's like, they're just moving forward, like super quickly. Let's get another one here on the eight of swords. What's the other, another one on the eight of swords here. They've given us two queen of pentacles and the king of wands. Holy cow. So there's a couple of things showing up on the mind here with passion versus stability. So that may be in question here. Is this real? Like, is this person just passionate showing up here or are they here to stay? Are they here to make it real? Um, is kind of what I'm getting from this energy. And maybe that's something that's on your mind of part of this. And, but maybe that's, just a conversation to be had or go with the flow energy. Um, but there's something here that, that is challenging you, but I just want to get one more. Come on, give me some clarity. Thanks. <laughs> oh, maybe there's someone else on your mind here with the King of swords and the lovers. So maybe for some of you, There's someone else on your mind and you're wondering if they're going to show up here. Maybe you feel connected to someone else or to something else. I don't know. I'm just getting like, maybe there's someone else on your mind, but in addition, you might be liking all this other energy. Maybe you're not thinking it's a long-term thing, a stable thing with this queen of pentacles, but at the same time, You like how they see you. You like the experience, but I think there's someone else on your mind. Pisces is what I'm getting. Another connection, perhaps someone that you've had a bit of something on something about, I don't know. So let's have a look at what this take time to breathe out is. Shall we? Thank you, spirit. What does Pisces with Venus and Pisces need to know? We've got the hanged one. Okay. We've got the four of pentacles. What else do we need to know for our Pisces? The six of swords and the seven of wands. Okay. So there's something here that I feel as part of this, there's, there's a lot of excitement. There's a lot of fulfillment here in some way or another. There's something that's exciting you and bringing a, a fun spark to whatever you're doing. Okay. But there also feels a little bit of, I'm just getting a little bit of dis can no, not disconnected. Um, dissection. No, it is kind of disconnected. I don't know how to explain it because I don't want you to think disconnected as in, um, 
lack of connection. I feel disconnected in a sense of there's someone else that you're connected to that's kind of split right now is what I'm getting. Okay. A significant connection that something or someone here, you're still feeling their energy. You're still connected to them. And as much as you're loving all this other stuff that's going on, there might be some realization or some, some aspect here that you're like, I get all this. I'm feeling all this and I'm loving what's coming on through, but I don't know if that's actually what I want. Um, or my truth, but spirits also saying, look at the bigger picture. So be mindful of what you're holding onto that may not be actual, um, tangible truth, if that makes sense. It's okay to have someone in your heart and desire someone, but if it's not flourishing or going anywhere, why miss out on potential possibility or excitement or something else somewhere else? Um, or simply there could be just another suitor coming on through that you're more connected to. And maybe you're just now in conflict of going, hang on, who am I paying attention to here? Because i got a King of Cups, I've got a King of Wands, and now I've got a King of Swords. <laughs> so there is definitely someone here capturing your attention. And one suitor is going to be more, um, more ideal or more connected than possible. But I'm also feeling, and that's what the disconnection could be. I'm seeing like paths and something that's just not tying together. So it could, like I said, there may be more, more than one person right now that is paying a lot of attention because you are super sexy right now and attractive and, you know, Venus is in the house. So there's just one that might just take your breath away. And now you're like, shit, now I've got to have this conversation with other people. What do I do? Um, what if I get it wrong? It's like all these things may go through your mind and you want to actually settle and be grounded. But at the same time, it's kind of like, well, I'm having a bit of fun over here. So then it's like, okay, now I'm in con contemplation. I've got to see like, what is it that I want? Cause do I have to make a decision here? <laughs> And you know that you want to be in a place that feels safe and supported and secure, but at the same time you want to have fun and enjoy it. And, but you know that ultimately your greatest desire is that connection spiritually, emotionally, physically, and intellectually that makes everything up in terms of a dynamic match for you, whatever those parts are. Okay. Okay. So something here with this take time to breathe out, I think you're feeling a bit of pressure to make a decision to go a certain direction. Let's get a clarify here. You're just the bee's knees, Pisces. That's a lot of cards, a lot of cards. I'm taking... There was way too many guys. I want them all because they were all fabulous cards. But can we just have one spirit for our Pisces to clarify this? Ah, thank you. I've got the chariot. So in the moment of pause, in the moment of I need to sit still for a moment, I need to kind of get in check where I feel all connected, where I feel grounded, where I feel centered, where I feel like I'm getting the information that I need, where I feel safe and secure you're looking at, I need a bit of an adventure. I need like, I need calmer waters in my life. I don't need complexity. I don't need to keep fighting for my truth and what I believe in. I just should be able to flow with this. Okay. I should be able to flow and I need that person who's going to flow with me. Who's going to see me for me and accept me for me. Like I'm going to stand up for my truth here and what I desire. And if they aren't going to come and play, well, I'm going to knock them away. You know, that's kind of what I feel the energy is. But amongst this, there's all of a sudden, again, it's like you're doing this. Making decisions. Maybe you're taking a bit of a, another self check. Again, this is like a breathe out. I feel this is a bit of a pause that you're taking from all things. And then it's like, okay, I know what I want. I figured it out and I'm, I'm riding on. I've, I'm making my decision of where I'm going. So let's have a look where you're going here, Pisces, because luck is on your side. So let's see what this luck is, shall we? 
Seven of Swords. The Sun. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Seven of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Let me just... There we go. Okay. So... I think it's good because someone here has shown you their true colors with this seven of swords. So there may be something here that you have felt or realized with one of these people showing up and something's going to show up here to, to show you someone's true colors. And I think this is really good for you because this shines a light on the things that you actually want and also what you don't want so you can clear it out. So I think that's going to happen here as part of this process. While it might be a little, you know, frustrating, hurtful, disappointed, like this is good. It's good to know you're not wasting your time. You're not wasting your energy on this because now the path is lighting up with the sun to absolute goodness that you deserve. This is like a gift from spirit with you finding out something here, something being revealed and someone showing you who they actually are that I think you already knew with this someone connection here that just something couldn't be trusted. Okay. And I don't know who this is because you've got a lot of, a lot of people showing up here. Someone's really paying attention. You've got the page to the Knight of wands to the King of wands. Maybe it could be this energy because they've shown you so many different sides and you're trying to figure out, well, hang on, which one are you like, um, maybe that's something that you're questioning here, but either which way with spirit gifting you, whatever this is that you needed to know and the path that they're lighting up, the confusion is going to be settled. You may feel confused at some point, but this is going to be very clear to you on what it is that you desire and what your choice is going to be. I think you're going to get the clarity here, but in addition to the clarity, there's something that's going to be celebrated and so interesting because like I said, there's this part of you that wants to settle down, that wants to feel safe, that wants to feel seen and supported and acknowledged for all that you are as well. And then you get your King of Pentacles coming in to show you that, okay, that groundedness that you've desired. So maybe one of these suitors engages in addition, if it's this King of Swords energy and air energy that you feel this very solid connection with like, Hey, could this be my actual person? It's like, you're going to get the stability that you seek. I think this person respectfully is going to move a little slower in energy because they think more about their approach. They're more considerate of you. They don't need to rush. They're very sure of themselves that they just work through things throughout with their mind, but they're still very heartful and, and passionate in their own way. You're just not going to see that straight away. And I think that's what makes you really curious about this connection. Okay. But in addition to that, I, like I said, you're going to see their warmth. You're going to see their sense of stability, their care for the things that are around them. Okay. Um, so that's very earth grounded energy, which you need. You need that, you know, sapiosexual energy. You need that groundedness. But like I said, underneath this all is, is the passion, but it's not something that's just so out there. I think it's behind the closed doors when you know how to enter that heart space and they feel safe. Okay. So something's happening here. That's truly shining a light that is going to be celebrated for some of you. I do feel again, this is going to be each to their own, but for some of you who have already been in a connection with someone, okay. If there has been some form of trials, okay, I do feel that clarity is coming around, but you're playing it very smart with this person because I think you need to rebuild and trust. At the same time, in addition to this potential of growth here where the, the end of a tough cycle approaches, I feel for some of you that have been in a connection um, that you're looking at, well, hang on, I need to trust this and see proof of this. So you might still, 
I'm not saying explore options, but I think you're going to still go out and do you. And amongst that, you're going to just naturally meet people. And I think there's excitement. I think there's going to be a lot of fun in this and you're going to get a lot of attention. But in your heart, you are committed to someone else is what I see with this Hierophant and the Knight of, the King of Cups energy. But you're also acknowledging that as much as you might be having fun and enjoying, for you, you want this stability with this soul connection, okay, is what I'm getting. But you get in your head a little bit here, Pisces. Then I think you think it through. There's something here that shakes you up a little. And you just, you need to be honest with yourself. And I just, I feel like for some of you, this could be a reconciliation or reconnection here. And God had to work its magic through it, okay? For those of you that are already in a relationship that's solid, um, there's some part here, I think, that you're looking at how to make this more fun, how to make this more playful, okay? Um, but there's confusion on, on how to show up in who to be or what it is that you actually need. And I think this is going to challenge a further connection of depth with a certain with your certain partner, because you're looking at, well, how, how do I, how do I make this more wild and sexy and you're vibing here right now, Pisces. So I'm seeing that. And there might be a bit of a challenge here and some, you know, conversations that need to be had and some truth around it. But I feel again, there's, there's going to be this little shake up a tiny bit. And then it's coming back around. You guys are moving forward. And anyone that hasn't been honest with themselves is going to get honest with themselves. Okay. And it's just going to help make things clear. It's going to shine the light on the beauty that you have. And I just, I just feeling a lot of sweet connection happening is what I am seeing. All right. We're just going to get a couple more clarifiers and wrap this baby up. I hope this has been support, supportive for you guys. So straight up, we've got seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. What else do we need to note for our Pisces? We have got walking away. There was another flip. We've got the sun again. Double sun. I mean, hey, you really got me going. So I don't know what I'm doing. You really got me. That's a song that's coming through. Yeah. You really got me going. So someone is really capturing your attention here. Sorry, you're capturing someone's attention here with that song. You really got me going. I so don't know what I'm doing. You really got me. That Do you know the song I'm talking about? I don't know what song it is. I just, I know songs, but I, I usually know lyrics. I have no idea who sings them sometimes. I have no idea the, the name of the song. But that's the song that's coming through. You really got me going. I don't, I so don't know what I'm doing. You've really got me. You really got me. You really got me. Yeah. Really bad singing. But I hope you know that song. If you do, please comment below. <laughs> so someone, you're definitely capturing someone's attention. But in saying that, there is something, like I said, you're getting some clarity on a decision on what you should be doing. And I think you're really trying to tune in on the path and direction to go. You may not choose immediately that path. I think someone is going to have some fun here, explore a little, you know, play safe in not making an absolute decision, even though you might have that in your mind. I think you're just going to see how you feel first. And amongst that, you're just going to have a bit of fun. And it just means that connecting with people, engaging with people. So it seems like you're walking away from something, but you're actually not. You're coming back around. You're coming here to, to for your truth, okay? Because you know where your happy place is. You know what fills your cup. You know what what lights you up. Okay. So that's where you're going to choose to move forward. What that is for you could be with a certain person, could be without a certain person, could be with a new person, could be just, you know, living it up together. It's all going to be different for you. I know that's sometimes not the answer you want to hear, but that's just the reality of it. You know, your truth Pisces, but in saying that at first, 
with this anxiety card, the anxiety may be is that something that you've learned or some clarity that you've got is just may challenge you along the path and journey. But ultimately here, Pisces, I feel this is going to heal. This is going to clear out with the sun energy. The sun heals. The sun's very healing. Um, just sometimes in choice and indecision that because it, it feels whichever way you go doesn't feel right can sometimes cause that anxiety. But there's a gift coming here. There's a gift of clarity, of stability, of support, and people to celebrate with you. I want to get one more card. We can't end with the anxiety card. What else would you like us to know? Maybe I should have shifted it around. That would have actually been better if we kind of flipped it that way because that makes sense why there's anxiety here and why the sun's here but just one more just to piece it out okay please clarify the anxiety card for our pisces fam yeah that's why so there's something here that i think like i said i think there's something that you find out or you get clear on that relates to someone just not having given you some form of truth. Um, and I think it, it, it downs you a bit. It makes you sad a bit, but at the same time, I, this is to me is a blessing because if you don't find it out now and find it out later and then make a decision on this person or choose to go that path and direction, you would have felt like even worse down the, down the end, down the track. So where does this broken heart go, please? Yeah. So I think some of you, I don't know, like this can come in two parts. Someone that you want to reconcile with, you just know is not the truth. But I feel like there is, you know, amongst the fun, don't forget that you're also having fun and other people are going to be having fun just like how you're having fun. So while you might have someone else on your mind, someone else on your heart, while you're going out and having fun, someone else might have that same thing going on. Sometimes we attract like for like. So if you're in that situation, you know, try not to take things personally, but I don't know if that's why this broken heart, the anxiety is showing up with the community card. I just, like I said, I think there's some truth that you're going to find out. Um, and something's going to show up and clear here. When I said earlier about the Venus and Pisces energy, sometimes there is the possibility of getting caught, in, getting caught up in a bit of fantasy or a bit of passionate hot wow wow. And then you find out, well, that was just a quick six week, you know, sexy time fling. Um, and I know they can still, you know, capture your attention and make you feel things because it can trigger other things that you know in life and that you've experienced but in saying that on the other side pisces there's like a lot of sunshine a lot of beauty a lot of what you want coming on in but if for some of you who need to have fun need to explore need to experiment this is the time um for those of you that want to deepen connections and get into things this is the time for those that you want to rekindle and re-spark something. This is the time. Everything's going to come clear to you at the end. You're just going to be willing for the journey, the experience, the adventure, and have fun with it. Because ultimately, you do know what you want. And you do matter. And you're amazing. So enjoy it, Pisces. I'm going to leave that with you, dear ones. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.